16, 17 uh, SDGs and a circular economy, if I remember reading right, uh, will help to achieve close to six or uh, seven of these SG, SDGs. So that takes you so much closer to what we hope to achieve by 2030. Uh, how does industry 4.0 fit into this? Where is this of smart technology, smart processes, smart products? So um, with all the participants who are present here, Dr. Gupta, uh, we are waiting very eagerly to hear what you have to say on this uh, topic. And I really hope that, uh, you know, your, uh, uh, your session today will provoke some uh, research uh, at my institution and at uh, institutions of those who are attending this webinar. So with that, I welcome Dr. Ashalika Gupta and all the participants one more time. And I'm sure we will have a very rewarding session. Good morning, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. I now request Brianna Norona, student of FYBCOM, to introduce our resource person for the day. A very good morning, everyone, and all present here. I welcome you all to this session today. I am Bjorn from FYBCOM, and I find myself really privileged to be here to introduce the resource person for today. That is Dr. Ashuleka Gupta. Ma'am, Ashuleka Gupta is a professor of management and economics in the Department of Management Studies at Graphic Era Dean to be University, Dehradun, Uttarakhand, India. She is a vivid, a vivid researcher in the diverse field of international business, economics, and marketing management. She has a distinguished academic record and holds a doctorate and a post-graduation in economics. In addition, she is also a postgraduate in marketing management and international business. Dr. Gupta has more than 21 years of rich experience in teaching and what is not waste, what is in, uh, biodiversity loss and what is the waste, what is the pollution and how we can check this and how we can control it. So definitely, definitely we can achieve all these SDGs, uh, Sustainable Development Goals. So if uh, uh, we have to give this kind of knowledge at the school level, university level, and, and I'm sure we could be able to achieve our targets. So first of all, without uh, uh, wasting our time, circular economy, first of all, we should understand what do you mean by circular economy? Till now, we are working on only linear economy. Linear economy means that is straightforward. Let me take my pointer also. Here is linear economy, right? If something is a start and after that, that is we are simple disposing this, right? A circular economy means something else. We are again, that is coming back to the economy, coming back to the, the process, right? And how we have to lots of example today, I will share with you how the foreign countries, number of brands, they are working on circular economy, they are working on industry 4.0, and they are able to contribute on, uh, I mean, all these sustainable goals. So here is uh, current economy, uh, take material from the earth, make products from them, and eventually throw them away as waste. This process is known as linear. But in circular economy, by contrast, we stop waste being produced in the first place. And uh, basically, circular economy is a system solution framework that tackles global challenges like climate change, biodiversity loss, and uh, waste and pollution. But how we can do that, let me discuss number of examples of circular economy. You know, one of the, I could say, textile company, they are not using for dyeing purpose any water content. They are using carbon dioxide, right? How they are contributing to the society, how much they are contributing to the society, I will discuss. And uh, circular economy is basically a model of production and consumption, which involves sharing, leasing, reusing, repairing, refurbishing, and cycling existing materials and products as long as possible. You can see here, reduce environmental footprints, 
right? Those are the green products. We are talking about organic farming. We are talking about organic agriculture. We are because there's the non-toxic, long life and recyclable products we can use. And it is depends on us, like us. What is happening? What is happening? Like, um, जमीन से आए हैं उस अर्थ से बने हैं और इसी में आपको लास्ट में मिल जाता है राइट एंड दी सी थिंग दैट कुड बी एप्लीकेबल नथिंग आई थिंक नथिंग शुड बी एज वेस्ट आई थिंक शुड बी वी कैन री यूज इट अगेन एंड अगेन राइट सो हियर इज व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट दी आई थिंक व्हाट इज माइक इज ऑन प्लीज मूव योर माइक राइट so cleaner production that is we are using fewer resources and here is uh, we are and here is through generating in key in increase income also and better services we could be able to provide to extend life span and reduce resource dependency i would like to share here for the resource dependency a uh, one very good example of jubilant vam organics how they are manufacturing Through their whatever is the various right, um, those are the sub contents. They are made this business process part also. And uh, when we talk about the packaging, so many companies are adopting reusable packaging as a way to eliminate waste. While some like Lush, Lush is a company very well. They are using. these kind of packagings and simply selling products without packaging lush has redesigned some of its liquid personal care products to be sold as solid formulations that replace liquid products in plastic bottles and uh, basically their naked range now includes shampoo conditioner body wash toners and deodorants they are selling these product not in the liquid form they are selling these products in a solid form right so it can be rather than in a plastic bottle and we are selling these kind of products to the number of and number of the customers so without packaging we can sell our products and i'm sure we are indians we have seen we have seen i'm going to share this example also we have seen number of times when we are having edible items i do remember in specially in our uh, dehradun uh, this one is the ban tikki when we are consuming this ban tikki and that is the vendor or seller that is offering us on a plant leaf right that is a leaf on which he is selling this one tikki and after that when we are throwing this leaf and that is again right that would be become a compost to the land right so such kind of thing rather than you are offering these kind of edible products in a plastic polythene or a plastic plate right so better we must use reusable kind of packaging reusable kind of products i would like to share this is a very uh, this example is a very good example daiku that is our textile company can you imagine believe me this daiku machines can process 800 tons of polyester per year and effectively they are saving 32 million liters of water and uh, this is the one cause the one side they are using 32 million liters of water and avoiding the use of 160 tons of chemicals and completely eliminating the release of into the natural environment i mean so you understand how these people are working and this is my request to my young generation those are students those are youngsters these people are uh, learning all these uh, all these uh, activities they are 21st century students and industry 4.0 it's all that is based on data analytics that is based on machine learning that is based on artificial intelligence that is based on robotics right industry 4.0 when i will come to this point so i'm sure this is my request to all these students 
and those are the youngsters please start working on such kind of projects such kind of startup because government is giving a lot of funding on startup and for first 3 years you are not going to pay any income tax or in 3 or the 5 years and please uh, government is supporting a lot such kind of startup please start first of all do patent such kind of ideas and after patenting do commercialize all those things because 20 for unit royalty also and the handsome amount in terms of lakhs they will pay you whosoever they are going to use these kind of patents so here is these kind of models why we cannot use in our country also so dyeing textile without using water and therefore these are eliminating toxin waste water instead of water daiku uses carbon dioxide as a solvent in a closed loop system and uh, while the capital investment in the equipment is higher than for to the short bath cycles, the efficient dye use and the avoidance of the wastewater treatment. So I mean, in that way, let less number. I mean, water is not required as well as wastewater treatment. Further expenditure is also we can save. The second principle of the circular economy that is also very, very important that circular economy is to circulate products and materials at their highest value. That means keeping materials in use either as a product or longer be used as component or raw materials. And uh, what would be happened? There are the number of ways products and materials can be kept in circulation and it be it is helpful to think about two fundamental cycles as well as biological cycle so in the technical cycle products are reused repaired remanufactured and recycled in the biological cycle biodegradable materials and return to the earth through process like composting and anaerobic digestion so here it is um, i'm sure this one is the technical cycle that is applicable to the those are the mobile phones those are the uh, products like refrigerator those are the technical products so that product should be manufactured in that way we can i mean if the part is uh, is not working functioning properly so technically we can simply replace that part right or we can we or the circular economy bite toothpaste bit that is also a successful brand and 1 billion toothpaste tubes are thrown away each year can you imagine and this is the glass bottle in this these are we can say bit pop a bit these are the bits right so these are the bits toothpaste bites come in a glass containers that are recyclable and refillable once that is empty you can refill it and this bit is just pop a bit in your mouth wet your toothbrush and brush as as usual and once it will over this bottle is empty then after that re, you can refill this bottle so rather than simply toothpaste we are throwing away each year and that is a damage, that is a waste. So we can shift towards such kind of plants. In our country also, we should have such kind of provision. And uh, please, being in youngsters, you have to focus on this and please establish such kind of startups because government is doing startups. Do uh, establish such kind of startups and contribute to the society. H&M, when I will talk about H&M, there is the fast fashion retail brand H&M that develop business model that delivers trendy clothes at an affordable price. 
and uh, it was founded in Sweden in 1947. That is the process, right? And uh, here is people are as of uh, if we talk about 2019. 57 percent of the group's material are recycled or sourced is a sustainable manner on track to reach 100 percent by 2030 so it makes more than 20,000 liters 5,283 gallons of water to produce just one kilogram 2.2 pounds of water which roughly equals one consumption by 25 percent or for its independent suppliers garment production next we come to the i'm sure circular economy this term is clear to each and every one now we come to the industry 4.0 why we are calling it industry 4.0 what is this industry 4.0 so basically industry 4.0 that is the 21st century right and there is the interconnectivity and smart automation because we we have seen uh, our industries they are shifting to cloud right and uh, recently i have taken one consultancy of one of the uh, organization one of the corporate and they are paying well they had paid uh, three thousand rupees per hour four thousand rupees per hour so such kind of consultancy because we people are training to their employees how you have to uh, work on cloud and um, uh, aws cloud and how you have to use this kind of technologies and uh, here is uh, industry 4 is basically we had shifted to on internet of things when we talk about the uh, i could say artificial intelligence i could say machine learning i could say robotics and i could say is the data analytics and uh, big data all these things are the part of these industry 4.0 industry 1.0 it was started in 1784 that was the first mechanical loom then uh, industry 2.0 it was the electrification that was introduced labor-based mass production and it was started in 1870 the first production line and it was started and 1869 that was industry 3.0 automatization that was started and introduced electronics and computers to replace manual work by standalone robotic system. But now industry 4.0, that is your time, that is 21st century at present. We are working here. The convergence of physical, digital and virtual environment through cyber physical system and the Internet of Things. So 4.0 refers to a new phase in the industrial revolution that focuses heavily on interconnectivity, automation, machine learning, and real-time data. Nowadays, data management it is a, a very biggest problem. Handling this data, I have recently published a paper on artificial neural network. And uh, I had uh, done prediction of the stock market prediction. I have taken uh, Bombay Stock Exchange data. And after that, I had created one model in, uh, in our studio, Artificial Neural Network. And a uh, number of the, these uh, kind of videos are available on my YouTube channel. And I had shared already YouTube channel link. And uh, here is, uh, you can see how we have to work on ANN, these kind of things and um, power bi also right python also nowadays i'm teaching python on my youtube channel so and data analytics data it machine learning each and everything is available over there i'm sure uh, you can watch these videos and through this you can also develop yourself and number of you you know very well have uh, taught there uh, and as well as i will talk about the these uh, decision trees random forest and uh, each and everything I had discussed over there. So how we have to work on, so AI, when we, I would artificial intelligence itself. So this model will predict what kind of share we have to invest, where is the dividend they are providing, what kind of share you should not invest, a customer or a shareholder should not invest, that will not provide you, uh, we can say, uh, dividends in future, in long term. 
so this is the advanced sensors how we have to use sensors low cost computing cloud computing i was talking about uh, cloud computing innovation requirement is it is required at the industry level at the business process at the product customization as well as manufacturing process and circular economy so this is the circular manufacturing if i will talk about circular manufacturing that would be here is seeks to reduce the use of material and energy in manufacturing products and services and then recover as much of the end products as possible through use reuse and recycling so we can easy to repair industrial water recycling that is also a very important biological process biochar right technology right to produce agricultural grade water that is the through industrial waste water you are converting you are treating and you are converting into biochar through biochar technology you are converting into that is for agriculture purpose that water can be used so reduce the load of subsurface and ground water and solid material after treating the waste water is utilized after decomposition as an enrichment media to increase the fertility of the soil right so itc is basically is working on it and uh, in mp madhya pradesh to reclaim the barren land so such kind of practices we should start and uh, generation of electricity for industrial sustainability i had used term um, uh, i had given example of jubilant uh, uh, we can say these are these this jubilant company here is uh, they are using uh, this kind of electricity i mean those are the sub products they are using to generate electricity so they are not dependent outside their organization they are using their own electricity right and uh, because and sub products those are the waste products they are using to generate electricity so such kind of uh, uh, kind of setup we can establish in the industry and we can use we can generate these kind of uh, uh, models we can create in our uh, industry so here is wastewater by secondary and tertiary treatment strategy generate enormous amount of agriculture industrial utilization grade water and solid organic fertilizer rich in minerals and organic resources and uh, when we come to the here is again industry 4.0 i have shown you already this kind of industry 4.0 uh, process digital technology 